Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. I got another Ice River KS5L here, and I am gonna be mining this to nice hash. And I know a lot of you guys are probably saying right now, or probably closing the video, Red Panda, why are you gonna mine a Casper miner to nice hash? Well, I am doing a theoretical test, well, actually a real test, of just seeing which way is gonna pay off this miner faster. So, as most of you know, I have another KS5L here, which is mining Caspa directly. It's actually been doing that now for the past, like almost two weeks now. I am mining to a dedicated Tangem wallet. And so this is one way where I'm gonna see how long it takes to break even or just get the money back of about $5,000 plus electric as well. Oh man, that, that was loud. But yeah, same idea I'm gonna do with this ice over KS5L. I wanna mine it to nice hash, so it's all gonna go into Bitcoin. And I'm probably gonna send that Bitcoin to the same Tangem as the other uh, KS5L right now. Yeah, it's actually been actually almost two weeks, I think, and this thing has mined almost 3,100 Caspa. And hmm, that, come to think of it, that might uh, change up my, I guess, stats. And uh, as I am going to be uh, mining with this KS5L to nice hash, that since the other KS5L has had a two-week start, I just have to be mindful of that. But uh, it, that's okay, that, that, that's okay. Anyways, thank you to mineshop.eu for sending me this KS5L to do this test for you guys. If a lot of you guys don't know, Guntus Vitolins, he is another prominent crypto mining YouTuber, which I have pretty much learned all things crypto mining from him. He has started back in, I believe, 2013 or 2012, and he's been in the depths of crypto mining. But for the past couple years, he owns his own crypto mining hardware store. So if you guys looking for ASICs or just simple computer parts for a GPU mining rig, he sells it all. So go check him out guys. Link down below to mineshop.eu. Guntus, thank you so much my friend. And it actually came with a C19 to C20 cable as well. My other KS5L did not come with that. So Guntus, thank you for this. So if anyone is going to buy a KS5L from mineshop.eu, you may get a C19 to C20 cable as well. That is a nice touch. Guntis, nice touch. Okay, let's get this thing plugged in and let's get it turned on. I want to get this thing on to nice hash and this is not a sponsored video by nice hash i should have mentioned that earlier probably in the beginning you, some people are like red pan you're probably sponsored by nice hash and no i'm not i'm not you can go ask them okay i'm doing this test because i just want to see if we can get our money back in a way in which we can just mine into bitcoin right it's probably a better way to mine into caspa to be honest because everyone thinks caspa is going to be you know the next big thing and it's going to have massive price appreciation and i've done many other videos where where I have done the you know break-even test on a KS0 and you know a KS3M and mining Caspa and holding it was and has been the better mining strategy. But since I have another KS5L, I want to try into Bitcoin and see if that method of mining strategy is going to be uh, better or not. Okay, so we'll see and stay tuned. I do have a hosted KS5L with Ice River where I am going to try mining to USDT. So that will be more so a real test into a, like a stable coin, right? Into, into fiat in theory. So for people that are maybe selling every day, wanting to get their money back and, you know, trying to figure out if, you know, mining into Caspa or mining into Dice Hash or mining into USDT is going to be better. That's just a kind of a test I want to try. I'm going to say right now that probably mining and holding Caspa is going to be the better strategy. You guys let me know if you think that is the better strategy or not, but I guess we won't know the result until, you know, I mine with these things for the next while. So, you know, Tether, oh, I can actually add this to the RPM Tangem as well. So I'm probably gonna mine to Tron. That's gonna be, that's gonna be low fees. And I gotta scan the card. Okay, card is scanned. And now I got the USDT Tron, Bitcoin, and Caspa. So one KS5L is mining Caspa. One will be for Bitcoin, okay, on the nice hash. And then the USDT Tron one, I, hmm, the only service I could think, I think that does that is gonna be unminable. Now, I know unminable is, uh, has some fees and stuff, so that might hinder it a bit, but if you guys have any other solutions where I can mine a KS5L uh, into USDT automatically and automatically into the Tangem, that would be 
awesome. If you guys are looking for an RPM Tangem, go check it out, link down below. Use code RPM for 10% off. Okay, let's plug this baby in. Get this thing mining. Get earning some Bitcoin. See when we can get the theoretical about $5,000 back on this KS5L. That's uh, pretty much the mid-July batch of this thing. So I'm going to plug it in. Now we're going to flick on the power button and it's gonna go, okay. I did hear some metal clinking. Hold on, let me, let me see if you guys, I'm gonna lift it up and you guys may hear. Yeah, I heard some, some something inside. I really should have, crap. I really, I think I should have taken it apart before this thing turns on. Uh, let's just see if it turns on. I'll give it a bit. Oh, it's ramping up. That's ramping up. Okay. All right. So let me go into the web GUI of the KS5L here. Looks like it's uh, looks like it's working. Okay. Let me set up the nice hash. All right. It's mining to nice hash. Here we go. Taking about almost 3,500 watts. Looks good. Okay, so in the nice hash web GUI here. I got the KS5L connected by itself. I made a brand new NiceHash account for this. Okay, so this is probably gonna be here for the next, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna guess like six to eight months that we're gonna theoretically get our money back. Okay, 5,000, I guess plus electric could be about another, what, uh, $5,800, $5,600, you know, after six months, including electric is what I'm guessing. Right now, I didn't do the math yet in terms of my uh, eight cents or 7.5 cents electric, but just to do this as a, as a test, okay, for someone who may have bought one of these things, this is why I'm doing this test. But anyways, so we're mining, and uh, there's one thing I want to take note here of uh, the KS5L. So here's the web GUI here, and let me just refresh. Okay, so it just started like 10 minutes ago, as you guys can see. And uh, one thing to note is the firmware of this KS5L. So I did go to NiceHash, uh, sorry, Ice River's uh, support website, uh, product manual tools, and then I went to firmware download. Here I did see they have a new uh, KS5L firmware. And so the one that I see here, uh, one that I downloaded is a 3.215 update. So if I go back here to the KS5L, this one's 3214. So there is definitely a newer version, okay? And uh, just looking at the temperatures of this thing so far, just started obviously, looks to be pretty good, pretty decent. So let's just do the firmware update here. I'm gonna click on that, that's there, and we're gonna hit update. Okay, so now it's updating and uh, that should be good. Be right back. Okay, so after about six minutes, uh, just to show you guys that the update was good, 3.215. Now, I just want to check the Ice River monitor and just look at the board temperatures. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is really good. This is really all of them under 85 degrees Celsius. Of course, it just started. So uh, once I move this to my ASIC rack, it's probably gonna be under 88 degrees Celsius at most. Uh, that's what my other one is at right now. So the board temperatures are good, okay? And uh, yeah, it's mining to nice hash here. Let me go to mining. And uh, it says it's gonna make about $42 a day or 0 0.00065 BTC a day. I will give you guys an update next week. So we'll do a one week mining to nice hash update on the KS5L. Uh, just in case anyone's interested. But just to talk about, you know, I really do think that this is probably not the best idea uh, to be mining with a, with a Caspa miner to nice hash because the fact that we are gonna be missing out potentially on the price appreciation of Caspa. But that's not to say that Bitcoin is not gonna go up as well. But funny thing to note, there's about 30,000 terahash already on K heavy hash on nice hash. So if I just went to the calculator here, that's about 30.3 petahash. Okay, 30.3 petahash is on nice hash for the K heavy hash uh, Caspa algo. 
So just looking at this, then that means then the Casper hash rate is 438 head of hash right now on Casper. One thing I did uh, just think about as well though, what if this K heavy hash algo could be on Cedra or could be on Bungna coin? Okay, there's two other, a uh, couple other K heavy hash coins. So I don't know how, you know, nice hash distributes uh, their hash rate. But that could be a thing, you know, potentially a lot of these dips uh, could be nice hash moving off to another coin. Uh, that's K heavy hash, I'm not quite sure. But ultimately the network hash rate for Caspot continues to climb because a lot of these ASICs are coming out. So that's why, you know, with all these different variables, that's why I am mining to a singular, you know, Caspot address to the Tangem. And uh, this is a KS5 valve currently. Right, I showed you guys earlier, 3100 Caspa, uh, about 554 USD currently. Uh, the one I showed before was Canadian, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, this other one I have that's currently mining is going just fine. So now I have another one. This one here is going to nice hack. Sorry, nice hash. So we shall see how this one does. I will go to the history and stats and uh, we will compare the daily payments, okay, earnings of this thing next week. I will compare that to the Casper one here, okay, so uh, I guess uh, we're not factoring in, you know, price appreciation of Casper, which, you know, I'm hoping for on this iServer KS5L. I, I, let me know what you guys think. I really do think mining Casper and holding it is going to be uh, the, the better play here, the better mining strategy versus mining to nice hash. You, you guys let me know. Okay, I'm, I'm really thinking long term here, but potentially this KS5L that's mining to nice hash could pay itself off faster in a way. Maybe Bitcoin could be climbing higher than Caspa. You know, the timing is everything as well. So, but I, I will be keeping note of that. Which again, thank you to mineshop.eu for sending me this KS5 valve to do this test for you guys. It's just fun, a fun test here. All right, so about 3,500 watts in my environment here. It's, uh, it's about 88 Fahrenheit, so decently warm in here. But uh, I'm gonna move this to the ASIC shelf and, just, and then just leave it. Make it go to town, mind a nice hash forever, see when we'll break even. So, Give me your guys' predictions, all right? Give me your guys' predictions down below. Which one do you think is gonna do better? The nice hash KS5L into Bitcoin or the KS5L into Caspa, okay? I I'm gonna keep track month to month and we'll see which one's gonna do better. Of course, factoring in, you know, price appreciation, potential of Caspa in the future. That's, that's, I guess, all we're hoping for, for everyone that's into Casper mining right now. But, all right, my friends, let me know your thoughts about all this. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.